Yo, so uh, if you're a streamer uh, full time on Twitch, you may need to get another side hustle. Um, it is reported that uh, Twitch may be reducing their partner revenue down to fifty percent, leaving fans in disgust. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. I hate to see it. Uh, and let's see. Let me quote this from SportsKita.com. So, a rumored series of changes could be rumored could be coming to Twitch in order to increase the company's revenue, and users of the site are less than pleased. Right now, the live streaming platforms partners have a 70-30 split when it comes to revenue, but there's a potential change coming. Various reports suggesting that streaming talent on the Amazon-owned platform could soon be getting a 50-50 split instead. It could also lead to partners being able to stream on other platforms with ex- exclusivity being an issue in the f- in the future. But social media is furious at the move, seen by many as incredibly greedy. The platform is also allegedly in talks about different tiers of partners, each with its own criteria on how to get it, which may, as a result, allow its partner to stream on other platforms, which is not permitted at this time. Currently, none of its uh, no, I'm sorry. Currently, none of this is confirmed or set in stone. But if true, it could certainly alienate a number of the biggest streamers. That uh, that, that's a, a big twenty percent, my guy. I've heard oh. a lot about oh. it. Like people are tight, bro. They are not happy with this. But I mean, we're evolving. I was even thinking about this, like that with the live streamers being so many fewer gamers, like lots of conversation around game streaming going down on Twitch. And it's like, well, by like by percentage, right? Like there's more people doing more shit mm-hmm. on Twitch because it's not actually tied to gaming. You know, like you could be doing anything. You know what I mean? Just chatting is always the, the most mm-hmm. popular versions or the most popular channel. So this is big. Yeah, that throws me off. <laughs> I see those like the the calm ones or like the coffee yeah. ones or whatever, and I'm like, what is that? And it's just people just in there just ch- chopping, chopping it up. With well, chat. but it's like <laughs> it's like but because because they don't have buckets appropriately, right? Like what it should be, it should be like sports, lifestyle, fashion. You know what I mean? You but they don't. They have like the different big mm-hmm. games, and then like everything else. And it's like oh, but that's a lot of stuff and everything else. It just it, it, because gamers like because th- what their their activity or their culture lives on a screen, it makes sense to port that screen and share it. But I mean, increasingly, increasingly more and more of the things we do live on screens. Artists do a good job. I know there's a big community of photographers on there that will go in there and edit photos, mm-hmm. right? But think even like what we do with editing videos. People go in there and just edit the videos. But if you wanted to learn how to do that, how to make a podcast or how to get the videos on YouTube. If we just if I just went on on Twitch when I was making our videos and stuff, you could learn the whole process. So there's a lot going on mm-hmm. there, and Twitch it found its foothold in gaming. But you know anyone that's been around for a, for ages is like this isn't a gaming platform. It just happens to have grown there. So we'll see. But this is necessary, I think. <clears throat> it makes it, I, I can see why they would do it. It makes me think of um, when we went to YouTube uh, mm-hmm. a few years ago. Or like, remember, I, went to, I remember we were talking to somebody there. I forget what we did, but I remember talking to somebody. I'm sorry, I'm a little off. That was like an early, uh, like streamer on YouTube or something like that. And he talked about how he got rich off of YouTube back in the day. But like from like back in the day, how YouTube was to now, like how they monetize it and how they like like you know, he was like, yo, I don't think YouTube even knew what they were doing with how much money that we were making back then. Like they were idiots. They didn't know how to like monetize what was going on like you know what i mean but then like when they finally like crack down like 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 now you know what i mean like like now how it is to be like a, a streamer compared to like 10 mm-hmm. 15 years ago is completely different and like like how they take the money so it kind of reminds me of that you know what i mean it's like I, I don't think twitch knew like this was just their platform and then it just exploded and then they're like oh people y'all are making right. money money off this like maybe we need to restructure well, how I mean, we or, or they did right? <laughs> you know like, what i mean, I mean it's, it's not a mystery in media this like think about television i think of like like bob hope who you right i just right? got like a netflix. netflix this is how it has to go in the beginning in order to get the market share to get people to come in mm-hmm. you start you start with really un, you know unfair deals right like i got this platform spotify i'll bring all the artists mm-hmm. in and like you can put your shit here for free right you got to get everybody in once you make the platform, once you get everyone to come to the platform, and the platform is the place to go. Gotcha, bitch. Like so, like it, it'll start with like we don't care what platform it is. Like there's a million nightclubs. Who's gonna be there? So we get you know we get enough mm-hmm. really popular, really popular DJs in on f- consecutive weekends, and after a year, it's like okay, 
whoever's going to be at this club, like we know whoever's at that club is dope because they only get the best.